Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an ultimate disaster clean with me because my house is a chaotic mess. And I'm also going to share with you guys what is for lunch. So in these first few shots, I'm showing you the before. This house was spotless last night. Actually, right here in this footage, this is footage of me cleaning last night. Um, I apologize for the chaos behind me right now. I have family here and the kids are just wound up. They're hyper, they're excited because they've got Mimi and their aunties in town. So, like I said, absolute disaster. It was spotless last night. I cleaned it today again after I had already cleaned it. So, anyways, enjoy the absolute disaster in the cleaning and recleaning and cleaning and recleaning in this video. It is absolutely insane. I will pop in in just a little bit to check in with you guys and tell you about some of the cleaning products that I've been using, but just enjoy the disaster cleanup.
All right, you guys, so what I'm using on my countertops today is my, um, it's like the Now Essential Oils version of Thieves Oil. I make my own like Thieves uh, countertop cleaner. Uh, so that is what I'm using in this video in combination with my Grove Collaborative products. Mrs. Myers and Method are my two favorites. Uh, again, you guys can check out the link in my description box at all times for Grove Collaborative. I always have them linked down below for you. If you're a new customer, you can get a free five-piece Mrs. Myers cleaning set. Or if you're a returning customer, you can get a couple of free walnut scrubbers just by using my link. So again, I highly recommend Grove Collaborative. And if you're interested to see how I make my countertop spray, I will leave a video link down below for you as well. I did it in one of my cleaning videos before, um, but I will re-link it for you guys just in case you're new here. But later on in this video, I'm going to share with you a zero to three point Weight Watchers recipe. It's anti-inflammatory, low carb, so it's keto friendly as well. You guys know that I was keto for a long time, low carb. Um, so I've been kind of combining my new anti-inflammatory diet with um, the Weight Watchers Blue program. It's been super awesome. I've already lost six pounds in one week, which I think is amazing. But again, stay tuned for that what's for lunch uh, part of the video at the very end because it's so good. So for lunch today, I decided I was gonna go with something light and fresh and healthy since it's summertime and I'm on that Weight Watchers Blue program. Um, so what I'm showing you guys here is like how I do that for myself and then I did it for my sister and my mom as well and then did something a little bit different for the kids. So I just start with cutting up my fruit 
Um, I will leave my grape cutter uh, link down below for you guys because you will you love this thing. <laughs> um, I get a lot of questions on my grape cutter. It is amazing and I use it all the time. It makes cutting grapes so much easier. Um, so again, I'll have that link down below for you, but I'll just um, cut up some grapes, some strawberries, bananas, and I've got like a fresh little fruit salad. And then I will move on to the chicken and I separated out the chicken for some other meals and then clean the counters after that just to disinfect. But um, So I do some chicken and then I just did cheese roll-ups and tortillas because it's so easy for the kids to do some cheese roll-ups. Something super easy. The kids have been snacking all day already. I just wanted to give them a solid meal. I feel like they've just been bottomless kids today. <laughs> they've been it's like orange after orange after fruit after fruit after like Pringles. Oh my gosh, it's just been absolutely insane today. So anyway, I'm just making that fruit salad and then I will get onto the other things that I mentioned, the cheese roll-ups and the chicken breasts for the chicken lettuce wraps. Okay, so for the chicken wraps, all I did was I actually did the chicken breasts on my panini maker and they turn out so good and so juicy and I have like a thermometer thing that I just stick in there and then I'll do a lettuce leaf and I did a tablespoon of mayo and I did some sliced tomatoes. Again, if you go without the mayo, this is a zero point meal for Weight Watchers Blue. Um, it's also very low carb friendly if you are keto or low carb. Um, is anti-inflammatory, it's great. Um, I did do a tablespoon of mayo, so mine was three points and I had six ounces of chicken breast. This is one of my absolute favorite meals to have, whether I'm low carb, keto, on Weight Watchers, anti-inflammatory, it's just one of my favorite meals because it's so satisfying and like fills your tummy, it's so good. Um, anyway, so that's what I did for my lunch, I suppose I should call it like lupper because it was kind of a late afternoon lunch, but Anywho, it was so good. Highly recommend that you guys try it out. If you do, let me know what you guys think of it because, again, one of the staples in our house when we are watching what we eat a little bit more. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this what's for lunch and this like complete disaster clean with me. I had to do this routine several times. When I have family over, the girls just love to make a mess and I'm not here to complain about it. I love it. They're having so much fun. It's just a lot of work and I want to show you the real mom life, especially when you're having guests over, family over, etc. in the summertime. It's okay if your house is a disaster. All right, guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Bye, you guys.